Hello YouTube. Uh, today I am doing a new series called Versus. So I am taking both Verizon today and T-Mobile and putting them head to head against each other to see which network is performing, how and where, depending on, you know, certain conditions and different things. So today I am doing T-Mobile on the left, Verizon Wireless on the right. So one of the first ones you're gonna do is speed test through Google. And go. So Verizon is still pretty good with their LTE and T-Mobile in this region has been doing 5G a whole lot more than Verizon has for their DSS. So this is the type of speeds I'm seeing here in the Washington DC market, as you can see. So T-Mobile 374 down, Verizon 81 down. Latency is pretty comparable with each other. 42 for T-Mobile, 39 for Verizon. Next, speed test. And go. Alrighty. T-Mobile has about 500 down and Verizon is still hovering about 65-ish. Yeah, about 65. Uh, 25 millisecond ping on LTE and 5G for T-Mobile is 32 millisecond. Alrighty. Now, fast.com. This is the throughput for this tower that I'm on, and the throughput for the Verizon tower I'm connected to, also. Well, that's a big difference. 530 megabits per second on the T Mobile, 3.6 megabits on Verizon. So. Imperv. Now this is gonna get awkward because I can't hold this one sideways. So one, two, three. Alrighty, T-Mobile's already gone. This one needs to be relaunched. Oh, need to make sure I make it a fair test. Imperv is already finished, almost finished for the T-Mobile side. And we're working on the server times for the browsing test. Browsing test is almost done, and the streaming test is working on now. I 
do that later. Streaming and browsing is pretty decent on T-Mobile. Almost done for the streaming test. Verizon is way better on browsing and streaming at the same time on their network, even though they're still doing uh, LTE. Now, the thing that I wanted to do, which is close these out. Setting these two networks apart, we are going to do a download test and see which one downloads this i think this is about a 750 megabyte file from google servers and see how long it takes three two one go download over the network and go All right, so Verizon's already out the gate. T-Mobile just hit two. All righty. They're roughly downloading about the same speed right now. That extra juice that T-Mobile was doing apparently is not coming in handy for them just yet. They're still roughly neck and neck. 27% to 34. Not that much of a difference, even though LTE is slower than T-Mobile's 5G. There's a little bit more separation now. 74% to 40. 80% to 46%, 85 to 50, 95 to 55, and 100%. Well, that extra speed that T-Mobile has must have came in handy in the last end. I'm looking forward to doing more of these tests. Uh, the comparison tests for AT&T and T-Mobile should be coming up soon. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good day.